Hello everyone, Chris here with Platinum Reviews. And today I have a Raw Impression video for you guys. This Raw Impression is going to be for Dissidia Final Fantasy NT. That is on PS4, this amazing title. Uh, I'll give you guys my thoughts of the game and let you know all, everything I feel about it deep down inside my body. Uh, so, Dissidia Final Fantasy NT uh, is... Uh, Originally came out on PSP, then th this one was out in Japanese arcades. They just recently brought it to America, and it is a console exclusive for PS4. So uh, what it is, is it takes multiple characters from all over the Final Fantasy universe and pits them together, 3v3 battle. Uh, you and your friends can take on three other random strangers in these epic battles. Uh, the thing that makes this game so great is the battles. The gameplay is super solid, really fun. Uh, just enough tactics in there to really make you, you know, think of what to do next. And it, it really, it, it's a good game. It's solid, solid gameplay. There are some issues I do have with the game, and I'll let you guys know that too. Um, but as far as gameplay goes, this game is extremely fun and lots lots of hours I feel like I could put into this game and I already have uh, I put in a lot of hours in this game already and I don't see an end in sight this game is super super fun so gameplay wise it's practically perfect now the game is online there are offline modes like uh, gauntlet mode and story mode the story mode is really dumbed down though and there was no story mode in the original arcade version so it's added to this game but the issues with the story mode is that it's really short. The It's short and kind of all over the place. The thing I do like about it is not traditional. Like, it's not like traditional story modes. You actually have to play the game to unlock the story. So you can't just be like, all right, I'm just going to play the story right now. Like, you actually have to play online matches, offline matches, stuff like that, to gain the shards that unlock new parts of the story. So I like that a lot, and it definitely means a lot for, like, making you want to play more and more so you can see more of the story. And some of the story missions are incredibly hard. Um, to the point where I, I was not that long ago, uh, they weren't too difficult, but then I started getting to where I was fighting summons, and the summons take the fight to a whole new level and uh, really challenge you. And I, I like it a lot. Like, it's really good challenging, uh, like a challenging fight. And that that's really awesome. Um, but I don't like how short the story is. Um, I definitely feel like it should be longer, but it's not bad because it's not, you know, traditionally it wasn't in the game originally. So can't really knock them for just adding a story into it. Um, so it's a nice little feature that they added in. Now, like I said, the game is predominantly online. What that means is you're playing online with people. Like I said, you can play offline, but you're going to be playing online for the most part. Uh, online, there are some issues I ran into that I've noticed. Uh, if you go to a solo match, you can get into a battle pretty quickly. If you go into a party match with just two people, so me and uh, one of my friends, Koopa, uh, Koopa the King, me and him play a lot. Um, when we go in a match together... If it's just me and him, it takes a long time to add us into a party. And I don't know if it's because um, we need to find somebody else who's just one person who clicked on the party match. Or I, I, I don't know why, but it does. There's been times where it's been like 10, 15 minutes of us just sitting there waiting in matchmaking. Um, which brings me to another point. Matchmaking, um, I feel like... When you're sitting there, you should be able to do more things. You should be able to change the music. You should be able to customize your characters, look at different things. Uh, you're pretty much stuck with doing nothing in matchmaking, so you're just staring at a screen. Um, so that definitely, I feel like, would be a nice addition. It doesn't really hurt the game, but I feel like it would be nice to have in there. Also, with matchmaking is online. I have ran into a lot of issues where the game's really laggy. It's caused a lot of issues with me, and the only thing that saves it, if the game, how lacky it is sometimes, normally would make me stop playing the game. Like, I'd be like, you know what, I don't want to play this anymore. More often than, more often than not, the game's laggy. And 
it's kind of fixed itself for the most part. It's getting better and better as the time goes on. But uh, towards the beginning, it was nothing but lag, lag, lag. And um, the gameplay is so much fun that you don't even care. Like So that definitely helps it a lot. But the lag on the online hurts, uh, hurts it quite a bit and did cause a lot of issues for me early on. But like I said, it has been getting better. So uh, it's not as bad as it was at launch. Um, there are a lot of unlockables in this game. You can unlock different costumes for your characters, different weapons for your co uh, weapon, like customization. So it like changes the appearance of the weapon. Uh, you can down or you can unlock different icons for your characters, different. Um, damn, I'm trying to think. There's a bunch. Uh, battle music. So you can you know be in a battle listening to One Winged Angel, which is dope. Uh, so. You can uh, unlock a lot of stuff, and that's one thing I like about this game, too, is there's a lot of stuff to unlock, a whole bunch. Uh, the gill system, you can also buy stuff in the game, uh, not with money, so there's no in-game purchases, but you can also buy items instead of unlocking them via treasure, uh, like pretty much loot boxes kind of thing, but uh, you, you can use gill to buy the items instead, but the amount of gill you gain from online matches are really slow, so it takes a long time to build up to that point. Um, I feel like they do need to increase that a little bit, but at the same time, I, it's not really a big deal. So, you know, it's it's one of those little gripes that I have about the game. Uh, but for the most part, the character list is huge. Um, I, I don't know off the top of my head, but there you have at least one hero and villain from most of the main Final Fantasies, all the way from Final Fantasy 1 to Final Fantasy Type-0, Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, Final Fantasy 15 has Noctis, so, you know, you, you definitely have a good amount of characters to choose from, and they're adding more. With the season pass, I want to say it's either six or eight characters that they're adding. I want to say six. Um, so I'm hoping to see Sora, maybe Riku, um, maybe Barret or Saz, you know, somebody with guns. I, I feel like that would be really cool. So definitely excited to see what's to come. If you guys played the game, let me know who you want to see in the DLC uh, down below, and we'll... We'll definitely conversate about that because I feel like I could talk about that for a while. Um, but yeah, the game for the most part, and I'll kind of explain the gameplay. So you're attacking people with what's called bravery attack. You lower their bravery. The more the bravery goes down, uh, which is indicated as the number on top of their head, you can break them. Once they're broken, you can do a lot of damage. You can keep building up your bravery attack to where once you hit them with the HP attack, it takes off that much uh, HP. So you can see the number above your HP meter at the bottom. That's how much HP I would take off if I was to do a HP attack. So you can keep building that up by hitting them with bravery attacks. Uh, if you get attacked, it lowers your bravery. But for the most part, just keep building up that bravery and hit them with the HP attack to incapacitate. As soon as you incapacitate three people, uh, either your team or their team, whoever's first to three wins. So uh, it's really cool. Um, there's summons in the game. I mean, the game is amazing, guys. Really check it out. Uh, the gameplay is super fun, so it makes it worthwhile. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much the game for the most part. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I'll let you guys know what I think of the game as far as a rating. If I had to rate it right now, I'd give it probably about an 8 out of 10. Uh, the online issues definitely hurt it a lot, but the gameplay itself is enough to raise the grade a lot. So, uh, yeah, definitely 8 out of 10. And uh, the Platinum seems like it's going to be very hard. You have to pretty much master every single character in the game. But I do love Platinum in Final Fantasy games, so uh, I'm definitely going to try that. So uh, we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. This has been a Raw Impression video for Final Fantasy Dissidia NT. Uh, this is Chris with Platinum Reviews, and instead of going for gold, go for platinum. I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Platinum Reviews or Raw Impressions, the next episode of whatever the fuck I do. So I'll catch you guys later.